race. The white man. Now, what did God call him? Our enemy. Because what the enemy do this to you? I mean, what your friend do this to you? Why do we think the white man our friend today? Because he give us food stamps? He give us Section 8 and low income? A lot of our people say, white man, I love the white man. The white man take care of me. The white man, no, that might not be you. But a lot of our people do feel like that. A lot of our people do think like that. Master lovers. Master give me Section 8. Master give me low income. Give me down, you shot the 10 verse 5. Give me down, you send it back. He said Jesus Christ skin it like it burned in the furnace. Sister, if you burn something, if you when if you burn something, what color is it gonna turn? Sister, if you burn something, what color is it gonna turn? Black. Did you hear the scripture I just read? Go back, go back. And give me something to drink. Verse 13. I mean, verse 14. Revelation chapter 1, verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. As white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire, and his feet. Hey, sister, if you take off your shoes, the top of your feet, are they not the same color as your body? So John looked down, he seen Jesus' hair, right? Yeah, what people got woolly hair? Black people. So he said the hair on his head and the hair on his beard was woolly. It was white in color, woolly in texture. So listen, who did they teach us this was, sister? Sister, who did they teach us this was? But I know, but but listen, this is my thing. Who did they teach us this was? Okay, they taught us that the white image was Jesus. So if it didn't matter what color Jesus was, she said Solomon. Why would they give us this image? You understand, sis? Why would they give us that image? So if the Bible said that he got woolly hair, we should know. For a fact, this got to be a black man. Right. Nobody else got woolly hair on earth but us. Sheep hair. Breathe. And his feet like unto fine brass. Jesus Christ's feet was like fine brass, meaning Jesus got brown feet. Right. He ain't got white feet. Right. Breathe. As if they burned in a furnace. So if you take something and you burn it, what color is it going to turn? Black. Jesus Christ was so dark, it looked like he burned in a furnace. That's right. Give me child 832. That sister don't know. That, you don't know the Bible, sister. I'm not gonna stand up. She said Solomon was white. Oh, snap. We're going to get that too. John 832. John chapter 8, verse 32. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. You heard what that said, sis? You heard what the Bible just said? Read it again for and ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. So the truth of the Bible is Jesus Christ is a black man according to the Bible. That's right. Let's see what color Solomon was, because the sister say Solomon was a white man. Sister, let's read what color Solomon was. King Solomon, King David's son. Read. Song of Solomon, chapter 1, verse 5. Start at verse 1. Verse 1, the song of songs, which is Solomon. Read it again so she can hear it. The Song of Songs, which is Solomon. Read it again so she can pay attention. The Song of Songs, which is Solomon. Yeah. Read it again so she can know who's speaking. The Song of Songs, which is Solomon. Solomon wrote this. Let's see what Solomon said about himself. Right. Verse 5. I am black. What color is Solomon? I am black. What color is Solomon? I am black. What color is Solomon? I am black. Solomon is a black man according to the Bible. That's right. Jesus Christ come out of the lineage of Solomon. Right. You understand that, sis? Did you know according to the Bible you're an Israelite? You gotta keep God's commandments. What's your what, what race are you? Yeah. You black? Did you know according to the Bible? That we're not black people? Look at your skin. How can you be black? And you lighter than me. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. That don't make no sense, right? All right, let's find out who we are then. Give me Deuteronomy 28. Sis, you're not an African American. You're not black. Right. According to the Bible, you are Israelite. God chose the people. And I'm going to prove it to you. I'm going to ask you some questions. 
How do we get to this land? How did they bring our people over here? What was the form of transportation? Some of our people was there, the so-called Hispanics or Native Americans. It was, it was. Our so-called Native American brothers. But I'm talking about the so-called black people. How did they bring us here? On boats. Is that they brought us here on ships, right? Give me through the rhyme of I'm on one and one real quick. Yeah, yeah. Sis, you been you been to church? Yeah, mostly. You grew up in church? I was spiritual, but I don't know. Did you grow up in church? Yeah. And they never taught you anything? No, I'm not. Thank God. Because the church ain't teaching our people nothing. Deuteronomy 1 and 1. I want you to pay close attention, sis. Deuteronomy chapter 1, verse 1. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. Hey, sister. Hey, sis, come here real quick. Five minutes. Watch this. I'm going to let y'all tell me who this is talking about. Now listen, it said, these be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. Get that for you. Read it again. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. So who was Moses speaking to? He was speaking to Israel. I want you to keep that in your mind. Now let me ask you a question. How did our people get to this land? How did they bring us here? On what? What was the what was the way of transportation? Uh, boats. boats. When we got here, what did they do to us? Um, Officer Nate, torture. come here. Give me that sign torture. with the yokes of iron. Yokes of iron. Right. What did they put on our necks? Chains. Chains. Had us shackled. Right. Okay. They had us picking what? Cotton. All of those things happened to us as a people. Right. Right. Watch this. Watch this. Now, Moses was speaking to who? He was speaking to Israel. Sister, who was Moses speaking to? He was speaking to Israel. Watch this, watch this. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68, verse 15. But it shall come to pass. When it says shall come to pass, meaning something going to happen in the future. In the future. This Moses speaking to who? Israel. Read. If thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments, and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So Moses told the Israelites that if they break God's commandments, curses will come upon them in the what? Future. In the future. And who he's speaking to? Israel. I'm going to keep asking you. I'm going to keep asking you. Now, so... Israel is the... The country, right? It's a... Israelites is the people, Israel. So Israel was a man before it was named the land. You understand what I'm saying? Yep, read. Now watch this. Now Israel was the name of our forefather. His name was Jacob. God changed his name to Israel. So his name was Israel before that land was called Israel. You understand? Now I'm gonna read it to you. Genesis chapter 32, verse 27. And he said unto him, what is thy name? And he said, Jacob. And he said, thy name shall be called no more Jacob. So your name is not going to be known as Jacob anymore. But Israel. But what? But Israel. You heard what he said? So God said that your name is not going to be known as Jacob. It's going to be known as Israel. So his name was Israel before that land was called Israel. When we went into that land, that's when that, when that land got that name. Watch this. Now go back. Now, remember, hey, brother, brother, you believe in the Bible? History book, okay. You know anything about the nation of Israel? Okay, okay, cool. So what we bringing out to this sister, we finna show her who the nation of Israel are today. She gonna tell us, she gonna give us the answer. So God told, Moses told the Israelites when he brought them out of Egypt, if you break God's commandments, some evil things will happen to you in the future. Now watch this, verse 16. Verse 16, Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 16. Nope. Verse 68, and the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. And the Lord shall bring the nation of Israel into Egypt again. Egypt is synonymous for slavery. With what? With ships. How do we get here, sis? Ships. God said that we was going to go back into bondage on ships. On ships. Now watch this. Read. By the way whereof I speak unto thee, 
Thou shalt see it no more again. Meaning our homeland. We want to see our homeland as a people. Read. Meaning the land of what? The land of Israel. As a nation, we're not. Some of our people been there. But as a nation, collectively, we're not going to see that land. Right. Read. And there. And there, once we get off the ships. Ye shall be sold. Did they not sell us this? They sold us. They sold us. God said that we will be sold. Unto your enemy. To our friends. Unto your enemy. Now, what race of people sold us? What race? The white man. That's right. Now, what did God call him? Our enemy. Because what did the enemy do this to you? I mean, what your friend do this to you? Why do we think the white man our friend today? Because he give us food stamps? He give us Section 8 and low income? A lot of our people say, white man, I love the white man. The white man take care of me. The white man, no, that might not be you, but a lot of our people do feel like that. A lot of our people do think like that. Master love us. Master give me Section 8, Master give me low income. No, 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 ain't nothing wrong. Now, if you need the assistance, you need it. Nothing wrong with it. But when our people depend upon it, that's the problem. Say, you know what, I can't pay my rent. I'm gonna see if I can get Section 8, no problem. Until I get on my feet, then I'm gonna get rid of the Section 8. It's not here, Section You just be like, ah, I'm on Section 8, I ain't gotta work, I ain't gotta do shit. I'm chilling. That's, that's what our people do. We can't do that. We can't do that as a people. Now you're using that as a crutch. And you're not gonna do what the Bible says because you're doing what the white man tell you to do. You understand? What is the nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is